Hello everybody, this is Drew with Acusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we are in Sherman, Texas today, about four hours away from our house um, down in Houston. And we wanted to stop by uh, like a pretty small show. Um, and what I've realized about smaller shows is that there are a lot of good things about them, uh, which includes just, uh, you know, sometimes most of these guys are just doing weekend stuff, trying to make a little uh, money. Uh, and so most of the time they're not looking at gray sheet or they're not looking at price guide or they're not uh, doing proper research. And so, so, and most of the time they're just saying, hey, you know, uh, I ran into this collection uh, at work or someone talked to me about it, I bought it. Uh, I just need a fair price for it. And so most times you can find something better at a small show than even sometimes a big show because the big show are the big guys that do this for a living and so sometimes it could be harder to make the margins that you want maybe as a coin dealer or just someone trying to make some extra money on the side so uh, let me show you guys a few things that I got today so we got this 65 plus 1899 tougher date 96s 1901 uh, 8300 dimple uh, I got to show you the guys this quarter it's an amazing quarter uh, tough date uh, 1928 uh, peace dollar 42 over 1 uh, Mercury Dime and a 91O, which is also a tough date. Um, so let me get back to the house, uh, pull out the light box, and show you guys exactly what we got at this Sherman, Texas show. Hello everybody, I just wanted to come to you guys, I just got home, I want to show you guys a few things that we picked up at the Sherman show today. Um, the first coin that we're going to be displaying is this 1899 uh, Morgan dollar, graded MS65+. plus. Uh, I really like the blast white and blue kind of rim tone and contrast. And if we flip it over, uh, the reverse is almost spotless but uh, there's a little bit too many hits on the face to call it a 66 and I think this coin roll really just killed the coin um, but I got it for a wonderful price and um, the great part about this coin is there also is a true view so you can look up that number to see how beautiful the coin is and a lot of my customers will see that as well just so they can get a, a better picture of it uh, because sometimes it can be harder to film these coins and uh, they get a better picture when PCGS does it uh, the more professional way so really beautiful coin and I really like it so but here are two other coins this is um, kind of the stuff I picked out of the cheap bin but um, they're a really nice hole filler so this is an 1896s which is a harder date and a 1901 which is a harder date um, got them for a decent price um, and when you're at a show and sometimes you don't find everything that you might like or might want um, there's also some things that um, that are a bit more affordable um, that can be moved just as easily. So, and the reason kind of why I wanted to talk to you guys today is because sometimes um, smaller shows are better than larger shows, and um, I'm going to tell you a little bit why and a little bit of a backstory about uh, myself. But let me show you guys the next coin while we talk about that. So. This is the 1883-0 dimple that I picked up. But while we talk about this, um, I wanted to tell you guys why I enjoy smaller shows sometimes and why bigger shows sometimes kind of suck. I kind of talked about it a little bit more in uh, the first part of the video, but with smaller shows, um, for me, most times it's a little bit less of driving when I'm in Texas. So I drive um, about four hours or less kind of to dr drive to the smaller shows with 30 dealers. And we talked a little bit about how, you know, they kind of do it as a weekend thing and they're a little bit local and that's great. Um, but also when you think of it from a dealer perspective, you have a lot less overhead because you're only driving uh, four and a half hours or four hours there and then four hours back in the same day. So you're not spending as much as you would say going to Orlando, buying a hotel or going to Georgia like we did and bought a hotel for three days. Um, and so that can really cut down on your cost as a coin dealer. And... Um, like I said, you could find a lot of nice deals while you're at the smaller shows as well. Um, I've had a lot of $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 shows 
just driving four hours away and um, that's what really hits it home for me and just allows me to make up a lot of stuff that sometimes doesn't pop up at the other shows that are bigger so uh, that's kind of why I'm an advocate for smaller shows but let's jump into this next coin this is a 1964 uh, quarter um, the thing that I love about this coin is the toning so when you put in the light it has this beautiful kind of greenish and purple and a little bit of an auburn uh, tone to it um, quarters like this are a little bit harder to find uh, with this beautiful color and this is kind of my big risk of the show paid up for it um, but if I find the right collector for uh, this quarter um, it could really pay off and so sometimes um, I kind of like to take risks uh, find a beautiful coin and if it doesn't sell right away like I always say that uh, someone will pick it up but uh, in the meantime I uh, enjoy just picking it up every day and looking at it and knowing that I have a beautiful coin in my inventory so this is a really beautiful coin just not a color that you see every day and this is more of the attractive bigger toning collector guys that they like this kind of green and red toning so when you flip it over it's got like this gold toning to it and I kinda like that over the blast white um, it's got this really kinda beautiful gold toning it's not like an ugly uh, ugly reverse but more of a flashy gold reverse so uh, extremely beautiful coin and uh, we'll see what goes on with this coin it's uh, something that I don't normally buy on a daily basis, but when I saw it, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. So, really nice coin. And now we'll kind of jump into the most P PQ coin, I would say, of the bunch. There's one more after this one that's pretty PQ, but this is a 1928 um, Peace Dollar, a little bit of a better date. And I don't think this coin, in my opinion, is a 63. I think it could have been a 64, but I'm going to sell it as a 63. Um... I really like the luster on it, and I also enjoy that there's like no toning on the coin at all as well. Um, just a really nice strike, also really flashy, and um, once again it has true views, so that kind of adds a little bit of a bump for me because I can show off these beautiful pictures that I create, but I could also show off their professionally taken photos, just so people see every detail and know exactly what they're getting as a collector. So, really nice coin. Now I'm going to show you guys an interesting little dime we picked up. This is a 1942 over one uh, Mercury dime. And the reason why I like this one a little bit more is because it has like this blue toning to it above the head. And let me just zoom in a little bit more so you can see that kind of error. Um, if you can see it, there's that, it almost looks like a R. So it's a 142R kind of thing. Uh, 1942R almost. Um, it's it's inter interesting, um, not your everyday kind of uh, pickup. Uh, I normally kind of do the 16Ds, but as of late, uh, I've been liking these more uh, harder to find coins uh, in the Mercury Date series, and I hope to be moving up and buying even better grades as time moves on for my customers. But um, like I said, I like the character and the toning on it, and um, I know someone else will like it too, so. It's kind of why I picked it up, and it was an affordable coin for uh, the most recent sold comps for it. So, hey, I'll take it, you know. So, hey, it's a beautiful coin. And I wanted to show you guys this next coin. This coin's really PQ as well. Uh, it just has a premium quality luster and eye appeal. Um, as you put in the light, um, just extremely flashy. The strike is a little bit weak. It is a New Orleans mint. You can kind of see that on the hairline, but uh, the flashiness of it really makes it pop and um, you know I I th like well, once we talked about in a few uh, I think maybe a last video or a few videos back um, people look for that toning or the, the beautiful toning or they're looking for that eye appeal and this coin I think nailed the eye appeal in terms of a collector value and I think that there'll be much more coins in the future for uh, um, for kind of this uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, but for for kind of this uh, this desire of a blast white coin, so really beautiful, harder date as well, which kind of uh, makes it a little bit easier because someone might not have this in their collection. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys this 1895O uh, Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, the guy at the show said that's the fastest I've ever owned an 1895O Morgan Silver Dollar, but 
I've been buying these as well lately. Um, the cool part about these is that uh, most people aren't willing to spend 800 bucks on an 1895O in a better condition. Sometimes they just want to spend, uh, you know, want to spend 250 bucks. Is kind of where I put these, you know, 275 dollars. And so I got a moderately decent deal on this coin. And um, you know, there's a lot of people lined up for these types of uh, 1895Os, 1895Ss um, coins that are a little bit lower grade, but very affordable for the common collector. So. But I appreciate you guys taking a look at all these coins we showed off today. Hey guys, I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, um, did enjoy a little bit of the information that we shared about coins and small coin shows, please leave a like. Um, it means so much in terms of getting our word out there for acoustic collectibles and just helping the reach get out there for other dealers or other people that want to learn about the hobby. So. Please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you've been enjoying our content. I think my brother looked it up and there's like 80, 85% of all of our uh, watchers are not subscribed. So if you guys haven't made an account or uh, you made an account and just haven't subscribed yet, I would really like if you guys could. Uh, we try to upload three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.